Welcome back. We're going to play some more of the Edward Longshanks campaign. We finished off of Castles and Kings last time. We're going to now move on to Tomb Tabard. So without further ado, I would say we just kick off. We are on hard. We are live streaming at the same time. So you get a lot of greetings now from Twitch chat. Hello, YouTube. Let's, uh, let's just go. I fear that I am deceiving myself in studying only my father's achievements in war. As king, I must be both a warrior and a statesman, just as he was. Drawing inspiration from the legendary stories of King Arthur, Edward grew from a deceitful and duplicitous youth into a pious and chivalrous ruler respected throughout Christendom. My father implemented economic, administrative, and legal reforms that strengthened and stabilized his kingdom. His borrowing of Byzantine concepts led him to be known as the English Justinian. Yet to Edward, this was just another part of ruling effectively, and everything that he did furthered his fierce desire to rule over all of Britain. When Alexander III of Scotland died without a male heir, that ambition suddenly seemed within reach. My father first strove to marry Alexander's young granddaughter, Margaret, to me, the heir apparent to England. When she died unexpectedly just a year later, Edward instead installed John Balliol as king in Scotland. The proud Scots would not suffer themselves to be ruled by an English puppet whose master sought to conscript them into war with France. Instead, they allied themselves with the French and rose in open rebellion. Edward's fury was unbridled. If Balliol could not hold his subjects in line, my father would seize Scotland by force. All right. So, main objectives, capture Berwick. Berwick by defeating its garrison. King Edward is restricted to a population limit of 175 and cannot, still cannot build cannon galleons. Being deep in enemy territory and on road terrain, the English cannot construct stone walls either. The walls of Berwick... <laughs> Berwick, okay. The walls of Berwick are formidable. You will need a formidable force and siege engines to breach them. Be shrewd and prudent, yet decisive. A swift capture of Barwick will make things easier in the long run, but overextending yourself while failing to do so will see you crushed by the Scottish army. There is not there is only one bridge on the river Forth. See that you control it. The stone of Scone is a symbol of Scottish royalty. Capturing it would deal a great blow to enemy morale. So King Edward has arrived in Scotland and erected a camp in the south. The prosperous city of Berwick lies to the east. Its hardy garrison consists of crossbowmen, swordsmen, and scorpions. The powerful Scottish army camps beyond the Firth of Forth to the north and northwest. Its proud force of cavalry, pikemen, and siege engines pose a threat to any invader. The monastery of Scone lies to the north, defended by a pity token force. All right. Before we kick off, let me turn on some music as well. And also let me lower the scroll speed to a uh, more unpleasant. All right. I hate these types of armies, AI armies, where one of each. Defeat the Barwick garrisons. We have to defeat the green dudes over there. Roger that. I think we should focus on economy for now. We go and build a TC there as well. This is the fourth chapter of the campaign, yes. Let me lower the music slightly here. 
So 2940 until the Scottish army arrives. Sounds good. I'm actually gonna. Oh, yeah, I only have a dock. That hitbox on this fish is so weird. Like, I feel like this should hit the fish, right? Only when you go to the absolute center, you actually hit the fish. I'm not sure if I should be aggressive here and attack. Oh. I didn't even realize I got a scout from that angle. Not sure if it's delivering a message or what. There's stone there. I definitely want that as well. Has the pronunciations of the English towns been the same for 800 years? I wouldn't know. Let me see what's up here. Prepare for a Scottish attack. Defeat the Berwick. 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 Garrison, all good. Mandaten? Yeah, I, I know that it's pronounced Beric, but I am too deep. Looks like there's nothing, there nothing else on this map by the looks of it. So it's just the fo all the focus here is gonna be us and. The barrack garrison. I'll take some stone, we'll prepare for some longbows. So far, so good. Not really too much going on. Seems quite peaceful. I think that this is how it's gonna be. We're just gonna build ourselves up until we start fighting. Not sure where the Scottish army comes from. Which angle that is. Alright. We can go to him. I should probably focus on stone, actually, so I can get a castle up. I think that would be quite convenient. Buy some stone to kickstart it a little bit. But yeah, very peaceful. Don't tell me, chat. If there is something cool about the mission, yeah, don't tell me, please. I actually try to not read too much chat while I'm streaming this because I don't want to be spoiled. In case there is something cool. It did say to like control one of the bridge. Wait, uh, there's only one bridge to on the river forth. See that you control it. Is it this bridge? I reckon that might be it. More sheep, not that we really need them at this point. But yeah. Hmm. This feels weird at the moment that you're just booming up. I mean, we have 175 pop limit this time, so we're definitely gonna get a way bigger army. But let's go and see what happens over there. I'm getting impatient. Yeah, I can weld off the bridge here if I want to. I'm not sure if the Scottish is coming from down there. Then I probably want to wall that off. Okay, they have full Imperial Age upgrades. Okay, 
This may have been a mistake. Okay, there was nothing on Longshanks having to survive. By the way, heavy scorps. Okay, you know what? Let me get a castle up here. So if they keep chasing us after this initial fight, don't think I will like it very much. Oh, they cannot build it there. Well, I wasted my whole army. One way to do it. Come on, Edward. Let's go. Maybe you could even justify fourth TC here. Okay, time to get out of there. I guess I just focus on building Longbowman, honestly. I'll get to Imp, I'll build Longbowman, and take it from there. I think that's uh, gonna be the, the plan. 19 minutes left till the Scottish army arrives. Twenty. We're gonna roughly thirty. Couple of thirty on food. I think I stop here as well, around a hundred villagers. Probably what makes sense. Gold income is lacking. Can you play a little slower? I'm getting stressed out. <laughs> Old hobbit hobbits. Old habits die hard, man. It's hard for me to slow down. Let's go and see again if, if we if they have units again. If we can, I mean, their score is increasing. Eight thousand uh, hasn't changed for a while now, but let's send Edward in there. See what's going on. I guess we ooh, clean most of the garrison in this area. Okay, I don't want to risk his life. It's getting dangerously close. It's actually getting pretty close. I think we're fine now. We're fine. All right, 16 minutes left still. We're good. Too many wood. Could use more stone. Stone over there. That's also quite far. We have to play longbows, right? So. We're on the way to Imp. I'll, I think I will have access to Trebs, so I will just start with Trebs. Question is, where do I attack from? Do I go from this angle? This castle's there. Ooh, they're attacking me. It's not part of the deal, bro. Not part of the deal. It's a pretty decent push as well. There's Imperial Age upgrade units, which is why it becomes a decent push. Well, that's annoying. But it's just a small nuisance. We clean it up and we're fine. 
Get you, man. Okay, um... I wonder if that, that attack would have come no matter what, or if it came because I started moving across the river. Either way, we're imp. I would like to get another cast up as well. Where to place it? Forward. Let's do it. Yo, man. Probably over booming a little bit on wood. Still 12 minutes until the Scottish army arrives. Okay, that will be my last village just for now. I'll probably have to delete wills later on as well. As per usual. Yeah, we're all set up. Isn't it better to build more mills if you have that many farms? In theory, you can, especially when you're floating wood. Like, placing a mill there makes sense. Mill there probably makes sense. But if you're lazy, then you don't really do too much. Not a mill here probably makes sense. We don't really spend time on those things. For the most part. When you're playing the actual game. So we'll build our little siege base here. And take it from there. 10 minutes until the Scottish army arrives. Wonder if I can actually place a castle here. Why does that not work? They don't have champions and don't have Arbalest. I mean, it's Celts. He could have had champion. Arbalests are never the case. John Balliol ain't gonna happen, bruh. He ain't gonna happen. This is a nice debate strat. Bring them all into into the castle. Works nicely. What if he comes with siege drums now? Then I'm pretty dead. So let's hope and assume that that ain't gonna happen. Yeah, the way he's coming in with units now is obviously completely fine for me. He's just being very wasteful. Alright. Let's get some numbers. We have two traps. I'll probably do one or two more traps. Two more traps and then we focus on numbers. For our longbows. Yeah, if you know, if you're familiar with what happens, please do not spoil it in chat. We don't want to know. That will make it less enjoyable on our end. Yeah, he keeps streaming in. These low numbers. Working on it, Edward. Oof. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what how much else is in here, but we're definitely making progress, and they're making units non-stop. Seven minutes until the Scottish arrive. Just gotta make sure I actually target fire the scorpions. They are the real damage dealers here. I'm also wondering if I maybe should make some castles at home in case the Scottish actually arrive from here. I reckon they arrive from there. Here maybe. I don't actually know. We'll find out soon enough. We have the, a magical number now of longbows. Yeah, everything will just die as it comes in. Pretty much. Yeah, 
They are producing non-stop though. Let's drop a castle in their face. Get out of my game castle right there. Okay, let's take out the tower. Okay, we can make space for more military. This feels <laughs> like the AI can't do anything against these longbows. But yeah, I am, I am uh, expecting the Scottish army to have uh, significant amounts of units. Four minutes left. Are you like, I mean, prepare for the Scottish attack, but are you like supposed to... If I defeat the Bur Berwick garrison before the Scottish ar army arrives, the question is, do I actually win them? Because I think we're getting pretty close to that. Do I see more stone on the map? There's there. Okay, it's all good. Well, I'm feeling pretty comfortable with my position right now. Kill some bills there. Yeah, we'll kill those as they go idle. Probably. We take the hill now. Let's build a castle on that hill. That's what Ed Sharon asks us to do. You got to listen. I am Obi-Wan right now. There's probably some stone or resource there as well. But I feel like we're not in need. Well, the barrack garrison has definitely been broken. There's no question about that right now. Oh wait, one minute left. Until the Scottish army arrives. I cannot actually destroy this TC. Those are grey buildings, so they're allies. Okay. Should probably do... Hoardings. I feel like this area is gonna be super exposed and in danger. But yeah, 18 seconds, oh boy. Let's see what happens. Come at me! Oh! They just repaired the bridge just like that. Wait. Is this the army? Is that it? I am very disappointed. <laughs> Is that really their army? The Scottish army? Are you kidding? Defeat Bert Garrison and Garrison and defeat the Scottish army. But if that's all they got, I ain't afraid. Yo, let's. That's a light cow. I didn't see a light cow earlier. Yo, yo, okay, let's let's go here. Okay, we've pretty much taken out everything that is green on this side so far. So it's just it should be those. It should be just this area left. Plot twist of Lithuanian Knights. <laughs> that would have been something. Oh, there's a Hussar. That's not bad. Should probably have taken out the gate. 
Like. Ooh. This is starting to look a little bit more scary. Still not terrified. But that's better than what we saw initially. Let's just put it like that. Do I not have stone walls? No, I don't. Maybe they didn't want to allow you to actually wall off the bridge. That would make sense. Still, this army is not very impressive and they also are just doing a full just passing. Where are you, where are you heading? Oh. Yeah, I'm, can't say I'm overly worried about the Scottish. Oh, no stone walls was in the briefing. Okay, gotcha. You tend to notice I don't always catch everything in the briefing. A lot of times it ends up me just reading and not actually processing what information is in there. Okay, let's do another castle here. Alright, well, Barrick. It's one tower there. Guessing I might have to take it out. Yeah, this was quite underwhelming, I must admit. Alright, I think we have a new mission. I'm gonna capture the Stone of Scone. I'm, I want to build more buildings forward here at the same time. I'm not sure. Yeah, let's get rid of some villagers. Too many. Scone. I'm actually hungry. Don't like talking about the scone right now. Oh! Didn't expect him to actually have military there. Okay, don't need those anymore. Okay, he will actually take it out. I mean, it's Celt's Cavalier. <laughs> Doesn't concern me the most either, I must admit. Did you just kill all those bills? Oh, I lost all my bills. Okay, yeah, new, new group. Rams, though. Got some stables here. This should be the last of uh, Beric once this is out. They should pretty much be defeated at that point. Right? What else can they possibly have? I mean, there's an archery range there. I guess it's the archery range. That should be the last of them. We still cannot do Warwolf, unfortunately, so we don't get to play along with on wall of traps. Watch it go down. Put the garrison to the sword and sack the town without mercy. I mean, I don't, I don't need Barrick for anything. You have to destroy all the stone walls. Oh, that would have been a nightmare. Purple medicine hype, let's go. These guys are also wounded. Just need to put them into a herbal medicine castle and we're good to go. Alright, so we're gonna need a monastery as well. Got the relic. Is there anything else I can prepare while we're at it? 
could do some fish here, but then again, I don't, don't really need fish either. I'm, I must say again, it was quite underwhelming. I was expecting the Scottish army to be a little bit more threatening. This is also hard difficulty. So I was hoping they would have a little bit more to show for than this. Let's see though. It's more units for sure, but it's still just Celts, Cavalier, not the most convincing military force out there. Alright, I'll do a forward castle here as well, see if we found more gold even. Closing in on the relic, just one screen away. Monk is on the way. Doesn't actually look like there's even walls here. What is the price for food higher? Did they buy food maybe? Or maybe I didn't sell enough yet. Maybe I just didn't sell all the way yet. Let's make some emergency monks. Oh yeah, that's really poorly defended. Where is Edward, by the way? There he is, okay. Let's do herbal medicine hype, guys. I want to show you guys how good herbal medicine is these days. What? Go there. You guys will see how fast these guys heal up. You see how many low HP units we have right here? Not again. Dude, he's alive! Relax! What? I'm being converted. Okay, look, look how fast they wheel up. If I can ever get to the castle. Wait, I can only heal 20 at a time. Makes sense. Look how fast the HP goes up. Do you guys see that? That's actually nuts. Actually nuts. And just like that, all my longbows are healed. The herb medicine upgrade is legit. There's this the stone of scone. Let's go get it. Just gonna make sure the tower doesn't act actually kill my monk. And the other group fully healed as well. Now they don't have that much HP, but when you do it against Hal uh, Paladin, for example. Pretty nice. <laughs> New meta. Plus elephants as defense with that. Oof. Oh, ooh. you have triggered another masterpiece in my brain that I might have to investigate further. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, I still have to defeat the Scottish army. Okay, okay. I thought the campaign would end now. John Balliol, you are officially embarrassed. That was a close one, I must admit, but uh, everything was under control, obviously. Herbal medicine, let's go. That's why I did the upgrade. It's not as actually it's still noticeable on even even a hero with so much HP.
All right, Scottish Army, you can resign. It is over. Wonder if just taking out the TC itself will be enough. We'll see about that. One of five of them. They don't obey the one of five. There goes the TC, and usually the AI resigns when TCs are gone. So let's see if that's the case. Same same case here. Doesn't look like it. Probably gonna have to work through everything. Everything they got. Shouldn't be too long since we have some of the traps out. Toxic AI, tryhard AI indeed. There's a dock there as well. Defeat the Scottish army, yeah, you have to defeat them. <clears throat> oh yeah, Longshanks, how's he doing? Fully healed. No problemo. This one dock as well. This area is cleaned. Let's take the dock there. The barracks, and then they should be defeated, if I'm not mistaken. Indeed. Gotta run, guys. Enjoy the rest of the stream and good luck with the tourney. Thank you, Viva Ronaldo. Yeah, so it should be the barracks here, and and that should be it. Oh, they got it. I am ruined and my force is crushed. I place myself within your power, King Edward. Right. Finally, indeed. Father was unspeakably cruel to the Scots. In retribution for an attack on Carlisle, he seized and sacked the wealthy town of Berwick, slaughtering some 20,000 inhabitants. Thaliel, the puppet that Edward had installed as king in Scotland, proved himself a traitor. He marched the Scottish army south against the English, but it was viciously drubbed at the Battle of Dunbar. Begging for mercy, Balliol capitulated to Edward, who scornfully stripped him of his coat of arms. This disgrace earned him the moniker Tomb Tabard, Empty Coat. As a final humiliation, Edward seized the coronation stone from the monastery in Schoon and placed it in a chair in Westminster Abbey. Schoon. That hallowed stone of Schoon, a symbol of Scottish royalty, shall now sanctify the destiny of an undying line of English kings. I thought it was Scone. It's apparently Schoon. All right, you live and you learn. Yeah, the Scottish army was not uh, very impressive, I must say. So I could have probably even started attacking earlier. But all right, so that was a uh, tomb tabard, the empty... Um, uh, what was it? Empty... Tell me, coat, empty coat. That's it. Thank you. All right, so that's it for the fourth chapter of Edward Longshanks. Coming up next will be Hammer of the Scots, the Scottish. I'll see you all for that. Thanks a lot for watching. And yeah, see you next time.